Welcome to the world of Google Gemma, the latest innovation in AI language models shaking up the tech world. Imagine a model so powerful and versatile that it can understand language nuances like never before. Today, we're diving deep into Gemma's capabilities, from its groundbreaking architecture to impressive learning journey. Get ready to be amazed by the future of AI with Google Gemma. Have you heard about Google Gemma, the latest addition to Google's large language models LLMs family? Gemma is part of Google's Gemini project and is creating quite a buzz in the AI community. Let's dive into the world of Gemma and explore what makes it so special. What exactly is Gemma? Gemma stands out among its peers as one of four models boasting two sizes, 2B and 7B parameters. What sets Gemma apart is its impressive context length of 8,000 tokens, a feature that enables a deeper understanding of language nuances. Unlike previous models, Gemma doesn't require quantization, making it highly versatile across various consumer hardware. When comparing Gemma 7B's language understanding and generation capabilities to other open models of similar size, its performance shines. Gemma outperforms Meta's Llama 2 in various benchmarks, showcasing its exceptional accuracy and proficiency. With two versions available, one with 7 billion parameters and the other with 2 billion, Gamma's 7 billion parameter model demonstrates superior accuracy to Llama 2 in areas such as reasoning, mathematics, and more, boasting a remarkable general accuracy of 64.3%. Google's open source family of large language models, LLMs, Gemma offers various models suited for various purposes. Let's explore the different versions and sizes of Gemma, discussing their pros, cons, and technical details that developers need to know. 2B, this nimble contender excels in resource-limited scenarios like CPUs and mobile devices, requiring only about 1.5 gigabyte of memory. It can quickly conclude, making it ideal for tasks like text classification and answering straightforward questions. On the other hand, the 7B version shines when compared with consumer-grade GPUs and TPUs thanks to its power and efficiency. Requiring five gigabytes of memory, it can handle more complex tasks like summarization and writing code. Gemma's architecture is based on the transformer decoder framework introduced by Vaswani et al., but it incorporates several vital improvements, such as multi-query attention. Based on Shazir's research, Gemma's 7B model uses multi-head attention, while the 2B versions utilize multi-query attention. These differences have been shown to improve performance across various scales. ROPE embeddings. Instead of using absolute positional embeddings, Gemma uses rotational positional embeddings, ROPE, in each layer, which are shared between inputs and outputs. This innovation helps reduce the model's size while maintaining performance. GEGLU activation function, as suggested by Shazir, Gemma employs the GEGLU activation function to move away from the standard non-linearity of RELU, further enhancing its processing capabilities. Normalizer location. Gemma takes a unique approach by normalizing the input and output of each transformer sublayer using RMS norm as the normalization layer. This approach contributes to Gemma's ability to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background, showcasing its deep understanding of the physical world. Gemma's training data set is like a treasure trove of knowledge containing an incredible 6 trillion characters. This data set is carefully crafted, including web documents. Gemma explores a wide range of web text sources to learn from a variety of writing styles, topics, and words. Most of this material is in English, helping Gamma grasp the nuances of the language. Code. Gemma's training set isn't just about words. It also includes code snippets. This exposure helps Gemma understand the intricacies of programming languages, making it adept at tasks like writing code or answering programming-related questions. Mathematical text. Gemma doesn't shy away from numbers. By including mathematical text in its training data set, Gemma learns how to use logic, describe things symbolically, and easily tackle mathematical questions. This diverse mix of data sources is like a well-rounded education for Gemma equipping it to handle many tasks and text formats with finesse. In what way did Gemma learn? Gemma's learning journey was like giving a curious mind access to an entire library of human knowledge. 
Imagine feeding it with 2 trillion and 6 trillion tokens for the 2B and 7B models, respectively, filled with everything from web docs to mathematical books and even code snippets. It's like having an avid reader who devours information, but in this case, it's all in English, as Gemma models are designed for processing English text specifically. Before Gemma could start its learning adventure, the data sets had to undergo a rigorous screening. Think of it as Gemma's parents, ensuring it only plays with safe and beneficial toys. This filtering process used intelligent guessing and model-based algorithms to ensure that the data set was informative and safe. But Gemma didn't just passively absorb this information. It actively learned and improved. Through supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning from human input, Gemma refined its skills further. This phase was like Gemma attending special training courses, where it tackled different tasks like following instructions, being truthful, getting creative, and staying safe in its responses. Even when it encountered fake data, Gemma wasn't fooled. It went through several rounds of filtering to weed out examples that could lead to harmful outputs or contain personal information. This attention to detail is like having a diligent teacher ensuring that Gemma's learning environment is enriching and safe. How do you use Gemma with transformers? Using Gemma with transformers is like unleashing a powerful tool that can transform your AI projects. To get started, you must update your transformers library to version 4.38.1, ensuring you have the latest features and improvements. Next, you'll install the Unsloth library, like adding a turbocharger to your engine. This library helps optimize Gemma's performance, ensuring it runs smoothly and efficiently. Once everything is set up, you can fine-tune Gemma using PEFT, Parameter Efficient Fine-Tuning. This method focuses on fine-tuning specific model parameters while keeping the core LLM parameters intact. It's like giving Gemma a specialized training regimen, focusing on areas that need improvement while maintaining its overall proficiency. One of Gemma's key features is its ability to handle complex data formats. By using the Databricks, Databricks Dolly 15K dataset, you can provide Gemma with a diverse range of prompts, helping it learn and adapt to different scenarios. After fine-tuning Gemma, you'll set up a supervised fine-tuning trainer, like having a personal coach for Gemma. This trainer helps Gemma improve its skills by providing feedback and guidance through the fine-tuning process. Finally, you'll see Gemma in action, generating responses based on its learned prompts. It's like witnessing the culmination of Gemma's training, where it can showcase its abilities and demonstrate the power of AI. As Gemma continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more groundbreaking uses and improvements. Its impact on the LLM landscape is undeniable, and its potential for the future of AI is limitless. Gemma is not just a tool. It's a catalyst for change, democratizing AI and making it accessible to all. What do you think about Google Gemma? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on the latest AI technologies. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.